The following is a presentation of Tomorrow's World. And greetings, friends. Welcome to Tomorrow's World telecast, where you will gain prophetic insights and information available nowhere else. Have you been deceived by Satan the devil? Don't be too sure, for God's Word tells us that the vast majority of all mankind is deceived. Picture the virtual Babylon of religious confusion all over this world. There are many hundreds of so-called Christian denominations and sects. We have traditional Protestants. We have enthusiastic Pentecostals. There were about one and a half billion followers of Islam and about one billion followers of Catholicism. Then millions in Africa and Asia participate in exotic rituals and practices which seem very strange to people in our Western nations. Yet most of these people are probably sincere, but according to your Bible, just being sincere is not enough. What does the real Jesus Christ of your Bible proclaim? Notice and follow me in your Bible. Prove these things so you know and understand what your Bible actually says. Turn to John, the Gospel of John, chapter 10 in your New Testament. John 10, verse 1. Most assuredly, I say to you, he who does not enter the sheepfold by the door, but climbs up some other way, the same is a thief and a robber. But he who enters by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. Notice verse 7. Then Jesus said, Most assuredly, I say to you, I am the door of the sheep. All who ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. I am the door. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved and will go in and out and find pasture. The thief does not come except to steal, to kill, and to destroy. I have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. Yes, Jesus Christ is the only way to eternal life. The only way, and the Bible says that over and over, but billions of human beings do not follow Christ or His way, nor have they ever done so in human history. Turn to Revelation chapter 12 and verse 9 in your Bible. Notice what God tells us here very clearly. Revelation chapter 12 and verse 9. So the great dragon was cast out, that serpent of old called the devil and Satan, who deceives the whole world. That's pretty plain. All human beings have been deceived, basically, and God indicates that very clearly. How has Satan deceived the billions of people? Think. Has Satan deceived you? If so, how has Satan deceived you, my friends? Be honest. Think about it. And how can you get undeceived? You need to know. Stay tuned. Again, my friends, your Bible says quite a number of times that a very real Satan the devil has deceived the overwhelming majority of all mankind. As he says here in Revelation 12, verse 9 in your Bible, the great dragon was cast out, that serpent of old called the devil and Satan who deceives the whole world. I'm going to now explain to you, my friends, six methods which Satan may be using to deceive you and this world. Hopefully, I can help you become undeceived, for Satan is already described as the very God of this worldwide human society in which we live. It is hard for most people to even imagine the power and the pervasive influence which Satan the devil actually has. Turn back to Ephesians chapter 2 now in your Bible. Ephesians chapter 2, and we'll begin here in verse 1. And you, he tells the Ephesians, he made alive who were dead in trespasses and sins in which you once walked according to the course of this world, the normal way people live in this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit, an evil spirit, the spirit who now works in the sons of disobedience. 
Satan is the prince of the power of this earth's atmosphere. He broadcasts wrong attitudes, wrong ideas, wrong ways. He's in control of much of the media of this world, frankly, and the kind of television shows many people see, the kind of movies they watch, the kind of articles they read. Satan is the god of this present world. Most people don't understand that. Now, notice how completely Satan will take over the nations of this world at the very time of the end, even more directly and powerfully than he is doing now. He'll be doing it more directly for a while in a shocking manner. Here is Revelation chapter 17. Turn to Revelation 17 and verse 14. These will make war with the Lamb, and the Lamb will overcome them, for He is Lord of lords and King of kings, and those who are with Him are called and chosen and faithful. The deceived nations of this world, these are mighty, powerful nations. You know some of these nations. They're going to get together, and they will be so deceived probably within the next 10 or 15 years of your life, they will fight Christ at His second coming. This world is really deceived, and I don't think most of you really understand that. You need to begin to understand that. Picture the rockets and missiles with which these deceived men may try to fight Christ at His second coming. They're going to think they're going to shoot Christ down, who is very God. These vain leaders even imagine that they can destroy God. Boy, are they deceived. And now, my friends, we're entering the very time when these events will begin to happen over the next several years. Many of you will be living over into two worlds, this present evil world, as Paul calls it, and then tomorrow's world, when Jesus Christ will be on earth as King of kings and Lord of lords to banish Satan. Christ will then bring genuine peace and joy to humanity in a way we've never experienced before. But how does Satan manage to deceive you, most of you, frankly, and the billions of confused people all over this earth? I will now give you six diabolical methods which Satan uses. Think about it. Pray over these things. Understand. Ask God to help you to open your mind to see because these things are starting to happen now. Number one, the first method of Satan. Satan spreads doubt about God and his very existence and or the authority of his word, the Holy Bible. You know all these books coming out, but these authors like Christopher Hitchens and uh, these other fellows that are coming out saying there is no God and the God delusion and uh, Richard Dawkins and these other people proclaiming there is no God, trying to make fun of the Bible, putting down their very creator. Notice what God inspired Paul. There were a lot of philosophers and vain people back at that time. God inspired the apostle Paul to tell us in Romans chapter 1, verse 18. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who suppress the truth and unrighteousness. They try to suppress it and hold it down because that which may be known of God is manifest to them for God has shown it to them. For since the creation of the world, his invisible attributes are clearly seen. Yes, they ought to understand there has to be a creator for all this creation around us being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. He says in verse 22, professing themselves to be wise, they become fools. These men become fools trying to deny the very existence. There's this beautiful, magnificent, complicated, interrelated creation, and they try to explain all of this this magnificent creation without a creator, without a great mind that has to be behind this creation. Notice Daniel chapter 4 and beginning in verse 30. And the king spoke, saying, Is not this great Babylon which I have built for a royal dwelling by mighty power and for the honor of my majesty? While the word was still in the king's mouth, a voice came from heaven. King Nebuchadnezzar, to you it has been spoken. The kingdom is departed from you, and they shall drive you from men, and your dwelling shall be with the beasts of the field, and they shall make you eat grass like oxen, and seven times shall pass over you, apparently seven years of banishment, until you know that the Most High, yes, friends, the Most High God rules in the kingdom of men, and gives it to whomever he chooses. That's a lesson King Nebuchadnezzar had to learn, and that's a lesson all of us, including these so-called intellectuals, needs to learn. Think, has Satan deceived you? 
Be honest, think about it, and ask for the booklet on counterfeit Christianity, Satan's counterfeit Christianity. It will truly open your eyes as to what is really happening behind the scenes. It is one of the most shocking and truly eye-opening booklets we have ever published. So get it. It's powerful. You need to read and study this booklet with your Bible so you know and understand what your Bible actually says. Prove these things for your sake. So just call now. There is a great God who created this vast universe, and there's no way to prove that he didn't. They can't tell about the origin of life because they don't know. They've never seen one species become another species, and they won't either. And God has given dozens and scores of very specific prophecies and his inspired word. They have all come to pass or are now beginning to occur. That shows there's a real God. He spoke specifically about what was to happen to ancient Babylon, and it happened. He spoke specifically about what was to happen to ancient Tyre, and it happened. He spoke specifically about what was to happen to ancient Egypt, and it happened. The God of the Bible is real and will intervene soon in world affairs. So don't be confused or discouraged by these deceived men and these professed intellectuals. At this point, my friends, I want to offer you one of the most shocking and truly eye-opening booklets we have ever published. It is entitled, Satan's Counterfeit Christianity. This most revealing booklet, Satan's Counterfeit Christianity, will be sent to you absolutely free upon your request. Frankly, you need this booklet. It's shocking. It's powerful. It will open your eyes to what is really happening behind the scenes in the religions and in the politics of this world. So call or write immediately to request your free copy of Satan's Counterfeit Christianity. Just ask for the booklet on Counterfeit Christianity. That's all you need. To receive this program's offer absolutely free, or if you would like more information, visit our website online at tomorrowsworld.org. Once again, that's tomorrowsworld.org. Or you can write us at the address shown. With this offer, you will also receive your free subscription to Tomorrow's World magazine, full of timely articles and unique insights on today's important issues. Tomorrow's World magazine keeps you up to date with world trends, Bible prophecy, and the very meaning of life itself. Tomorrow's World. Call now. How does Satan deceive you, my friends? We have just explained how Satan spreads doubt about God and his inspired word. So what is the second method Satan uses to deceive people? Satan confuses people with movies, television shows, and virtually anything he can use to turn our minds away from God. Picture these various films on Armageddon in 2012. They have all these blow-up scenes and millions of people being destroyed in these various movies, and yet when the real thing comes along, a lot of people are going to be confused. These films simply confuse people regarding the true purpose of God and the prophecies and forecasts of the future from God and His true ministers. Thirdly, let's go to the third point. Satan distracts people personally through the problems he allows to come on us. It upsets us. It turns us aside. He causes problems in their job, personal illness, people coming at them in their family, many other things. Turn to Matthew in your New Testament, if you would. Turn to Matthew at this point, Matthew chapter 13. Jesus described this. He said in verse 18, Therefore hear the parable of the sower. When anyone hears the word of the kingdom and does not understand it, then the wicked one, that Satan, comes and snatches away what has been sown in his heart. My friend, Satan is alert to get people distracted any way he can by family, friends, upset with children and jobs, sickness, anything. And he snatches away the word that was sown in their heart. This is he who received the seed by the wayside, but he received the seed on stony places. This is he who hears the word and immediately receives it with joy. Some people are so happy to hear it at first. Yet he has no root in himself, 
but endures only for a while. For when the tribulation or persecution arises because of the word, immediately he stumbles. Yes, they get tribulation, they get upset, and so then they turn aside. Satan uses all these cares of the world to distract people, to turn them away from beginning to pursue real Bible study and prayer and seeking their creator. Now, a fourth method, this is number four, the fourth method Satan uses is his invention of an entire counterfeit Christianity, a false Christianity. He's put an entire counterfeit Christianity before billions of people a false God, a false Christ, a false gospel. Think about it. And I know what I'm talking about. The Bible makes this plain when you read all the scriptures about it. I'm just going to give you one or two, but notice 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 4. For if he who comes preaches another Jesus, whom we have not preached, or if you receive a different spirit, which you've not received, or a different gospel, which you've not accepted, you may well put up with it. He warns them. People do that today. They come along with a different Jesus, sweet Jesus, who just said to love and no real laws, no way of life, and people fall for it. A different gospel, a whole different concept of God, and people fall for it. Not the true message of Christ. Notice here in verse 13, for such are false apostles, Paul continues, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into the apostles of Christ. And no wonder for Satan himself transforms himself into an angel of light. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers also transform themselves into ministers of righteousness whose end will be according to their works. Yes, a whole false religion is put before people, a whole counterfeit Christianity. And of course, that's what this booklet will tell you all about. It is entitled, Satan's Counterfeit Christianity. Think about this booklet. You need to read and study this booklet with your Bible to help you really get it. It's powerful. Notice the fifth method, method number five that Satan uses. Satan makes people afraid to act on the truth. When presented with many points of God's truth and what you ought to be doing, you will often think it's normal, normal human to do this. You'll think, what will my friends think? Will I lose my job? What will my business associates think? Turn to John chapter 12 in your New Testament. John now, chapter 12, and notice what your Bible says right here. John chapter 12, verse 42. And nevertheless, even among the rulers, that is the rulers of the synagogues, many believed in him, but because of the Pharisees, they did not confess him lest they should be put out of the synagogues. Some of the religious leaders of Jesus' time knew he must be telling the truth, but they wouldn't accept it. They didn't want to lose their job. They didn't want to lose their position. For they loved the praise of men more than the praise of God, it says. That's verse 43. They loved the praise of men more than the praise of God. Will you, my friends, love the praise of men more than the praise of your very Creator? When God says every mountain and every island is going to be shaken out of its place and God is going to intervene and shake this whole earth in a way it's never been shaken, are your friends going to save you? Is your country club going to save you? Think about it. No way. Only the great God is going to save you. You need to act. Again, my friends, be sure to request your free copy of our truly shocking booklet, Satan's Counterfeit Christianity. Think about this booklet. There's never been one like this, frankly. This most revealing booklet, Satan's Counterfeit Christianity, will be sent to you absolutely free upon your request. It will truly open your eyes as to what is really happening behind the scenes in religions and the politics of this world. So just call now and ask for the booklet on counterfeit Christianity. That's all you need. To receive this program's offer absolutely free, or if you would like more information, visit our website online at tomorrowsworld.org. Once again, that's tomorrowsworld.org. Or you can write us at the address shown.
With this offer, you will also receive your free subscription to Tomorrow's World magazine, full of timely articles and unique insights on today's important issues. Tomorrow's World magazine keeps you up to date with world trends, Bible prophecy, and the very meaning of life itself. Tomorrow's World. Call now. Finally, my friends, this is the sixth method Satan will use to deceive you. He will not only deceive you with a counterfeit Christianity and with strong pressure from family and friends and these other things he'll do, he will also try to overwhelm your resistance with absolute fear for your very life because number six is Satan will take over this entire world government more directly than he ever has in the next few years. This will happen within the lifetimes of most of you. We've all heard about and read about the genuine fear felt by East Germans before the Berlin Wall came down. We've also heard or read about the pervasive mind control under Hitler's Nazi party and about the absolute terror his opponents felt because of harassment, mass arrests, imprisonment, and even torture and death at the hands of Hitler's military and political apparatus. This is an awful time. It really made people afraid for their very lives, and it happened. What Hitler did was nothing compared to what's coming. You need to understand. People will be terrified, and of course, that's what this booklet will tell you all about. You need this booklet, Satan's Counterfeit Christianity. Call right now. The Word of God clearly describes the coming beast of revelation and the great false prophet. They will soon come to power and will seek to virtually control your life. This will be Satan the devil's final effort to deceive you and influence you to turn away from the God of the Bible. Notice what your own Bible says. Turn to Revelation chapter 13, Revelation 13 verse 1. I won't read it all. There's not time, but many of you understand the context. We've gone through this so often. Revelation 13 verse 1. John writes, Then I stood on the sand of the sea, and I saw a beast rising up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns. This is talking about the revived Roman Empire, which God directly predicts will come up again at the time of the end. And on his horns, ten crowns, and on his heads, a blasphemous name. This system is beginning to rise up right now. And you need to watch and pray and understand. Notice verse 5. He talks about this second beast. And he was given a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies. This coming dictator over the revived Roman Empire is going to make great claims about himself. And he was given authority to continue for 42 months, three and a half years. That's the time of the Great Tribulation. It's mentioned several times here in these chapters in Revelation. Sometimes it says 1,260 days, which figures out three and a half years, sometimes 42 months, sometimes a time, times and half a time, which is also three and a half years. Then he opened his mouth in blasphemy against God. He's going to blaspheme the true God by the things he says and does, to blaspheme his name, his tabernacle, and those who dwell in heaven. And was granted to him, this coming Hitler, this coming super dictator, to make war with the saints. My friends, it's going to look bad at first, but it has to get darkest just before the dawn. Do you want to go along with this guy or do you want God's protection and eternal life in the kingdom of God? He's going to persecute the true saints of God and to overcome them. And authority was given him over every tribe and tongue and nation. That's quite a statement. He's going to be given authority over the nations of this world. All nations will kowtow to him. He'll have direct control over about 10 nations, as we know, in a certain part of the world but the rest of the world is going to be subservient to this power. It will be the most power, powerful, world-controlling empire that has ever existed. And it's going to be replaced, though, you need to understand, by something even more wonderful and powerful, and that is the kingdom of God. This world needs right government, and Christ is coming back as king of kings to bring that government. Thank God. And all who dwell on the earth will worship him, whose names have not been written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. If anyone has an ear, let him hear. 
you are now being warned. I tell you in Jesus' name, watch events in Britain, watch events in Europe, watch events in the Middle East. Have your mind on these things. These things will bring about what God says right here. Think about it. Pray about it. Study this book. Jesus said, Luke 4, verse 4, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. He doesn't tell you just to read the 23rd Psalm and be sentimental. He says to live by every word of the Word of God. This is the Word of God. You have to read it all. Ask God for understanding and write in for these powerful books that we send you to explain the truth. Check us up. Prove it. We want you to. Now is the time to prepare yourself for the satanic attack which is soon coming. Now is the time to genuinely study, to meditate, to pray, and to seek God and cry out and say, Father, I want to understand. I really want to do what your what word says. I want to be worthy in your sight of your coming protection during the great tribulation. So my friends, please, for your sake, exert the physical and mental effort to prove to yourselves these things. Go all out and do it. Call or write immediately and request your copy, your free copy of this stirring and eye-opening booklet, Satan's Counterfeit Christianity. It will open your eyes to what is really happening behind the scenes in the religions and in the politics of this world. So call or write immediately to request your free copy of Satan's Counterfeit Christianity. Frankly, you need this booklet. It's shocking. It's powerful. Call right now and tune in every week to Tomorrow's World program. On this program, you'll gain information available nowhere else. There's no other source that spells these things out fully the way we do. Most of you know that. Get in touch. We're the servants of the living God, and we're trying to reach you while there's time. Richard Ames and I will give you understanding of current events and of the exciting prophecies of Tomorrow's World. We also invite you to join our colleagues, Wallace Smith and Rod King, who will give you special perspective and insight on vital biblical topics. So be sure to join us again next week right here at this same time, my friends. See you right here next week. To receive this program's offer absolutely free, or if you would like more information, visit our website online at tomorrowsworld.org. Once again, that's tomorrowsworld.org. Or you can write us at the address shown. To view today's program, order the free literature offered, or for more information on today's vital subject, visit us online at www.tomorrowsworld.org. The preceding program is produced by the Living Church of God.